Our guest tonight, one of the biggest groups on the planet. The new album, Map of the Soul 7, is out now. BTS! Right? Yeah! What do you do when you're one of the biggest musical acts in the world? Anything you freaking want. And that's just what BTS proved on Monday when they took over New York City's Grand Central Terminal to perform their new single, On, on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, the seven members of the K-pop band busted out some killer moves in the middle of the train station like it was no biggie. Guys, this is a biggie. 750,000 people are said to travel through Grand Central every day, and not a single other human was seen during their performance. Well, except for those backup dancers and that marching band, but you get the point. They straight up cleared the joint out. Damn. But Grand Central wasn't the only spot in the city that they hit up. Welcome to the New York City subway. What do you think? First impression? Hot dog, yeah. coffee. Good. Good. New Yorkers like scarfing like, I'm so busy for the business and you know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I love the movie Home Alone. Home Alone? Yeah. Home Alone? Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. That's yeah. classic. That's a classic in Korea. And so no. I, I have all Home Alone? Drink. Ah! You know really? the you know effect? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Really? The boys talked all things New York and all things BTS on the subway. Does it get any more legit than that? How has it been coming to the United States and having people respond to your music? I love you, Ami. Are you surprised with how big it became? Um, yeah, of course. Um, like, like he said, we came from a small label in a small country from Asia. So I think, you know, we can prove that um, someone from um, like outside could be in the mainstream. Yeah, so I think that's why I feel so happy. And they shared what they would be doing if BTS had never become a thing. Heaven forbid. Tennis player? I'm actor. Pro gamer, producer, or songwriter? Host a talk show? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Don't take my job. Don't take my job. Maybe Jimmy Fallon. Leading up to BTS's appearance, the show asked fans to submit questions for the band, which led to hashtag Fallon Asks BTS to trend at number one worldwide. Not surprising, but yeah number one worldwide people. Anyway, the guys answered some of those questions, like what the heck is up with that black bean noodle incident? What, what is the black bean noodle incident? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 저, 저희가 이제 옛날에 uh. 한참 연습할 시절이 있었는데 그때 저희는 이제 잠시 쉬는 시간이라고 쉬고 있는 타이밍에 화장실 간다 하고 이제 블랙 노드 먹으러 혼자 식당에 갔다 온 일이 있어요. 우리 다 기다리고 있는. I had a stomach ache. Glad we got to the bottom of that. And they revealed there's one celeb that they are dying to meet. Uh, is there any audience that you want to grab that you haven't got the opportunity to meet yet? John Cena. John Cena? John Cena? <laughs> we want to see him. He's a, he's, a big, he's a big fan of us, and we, 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 we're the big fan. And yeah, it's like really? mutually, of course. Uh, hey, guys, can we get John Cena on the line? We have an intro to make. OK. Yeah, John told ET why he's a proud member of the BTS Army. I'm, I'm petitioning to kind of be their, their secret bodyguard. When I became aware of the BTS phenomenon, it hit me by storm. I, I listen to their music, I enjoy their music. J-Hope is my favorite, just because he's got a little bit of street cred like myself. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I'm, I really enjoy the following and the passion they create. I think that that's something special. Of course, all this fun in NYC is to promote their new album, Map of the Soul 7, and their upcoming global tour. It's going to be harder. It's going to be whatever you're expecting it is. It's going to be better Ooh. and harder. But before the guys hit the road on tour, fans can watch them hit the road with James Corden for a little carpool karaoke. ET recently caught up with BTS, and they filled us in on what we can expect. It took like three four hours. Really? Yeah. 
and I've heard that it's like the biggest car they ever rented. Oh. Yeah, because we were seven. So what kind of car was it? I think some van, but really hot. Yeah. Inside. <laughs> camera was like, the camera was like, like 16 cameras inside. No and way. Gordon was not really driving it. Uh huh. He like, we. I, I didn't know. Like I, I think I thought he really drove. drove it, yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Safety first. Safety first. Something tells me that these seven guys crammed in a car with James is going to make for an epic TV moment, and I'm here for it. Of course, you can count on ET to bring you all the latest on BTS, so make sure to keep it locked right here. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens. I'll see you soon.